Hey there, I am Courtney, the creator and founder of Sewn With Strength. Um, it's a lifestyle and fitness blog. Every Monday I'm sharing about motherhood or and or marriage. I will share some of my personal lessons as well as invite some of my friends to share theirs as I'm not yet a mother. Um, but I also offer fitness and nutrition programs as well if you're interested in that. Um, but every Tuesday, I wanted to take some time apart and share just some tips, some lifestyle tips, uh, business tips, fitness nutrition tips, um, just things that I'm personally learning and implementing into my life um, as a fitness coach, as a wife, as a blogger, as um, a businesswoman, and communicate them to you so that you can also learn from them as well. Um, so I'm really excited to take this opportunity to share it the first week. So my first tip um, this week is all about our morning routine. I'm currently going through a book uh, called Six Months to Six Figures. Don't let the title fool you. It's not just about money. It's about becoming a great leader and businesswoman um, or businessman because a man wrote it actually. But in my case, a businesswoman. Um, and he really emphasizes just the importance of having a routine and successful and healthy morning, um, I guess, schedule routine, um, as I mentioned before. And so with this routine, I've seen personally um, reflecting on my own life and seeing how, wow, I'm not using this or this or this piece into my morning and I'm not seeing uh, productivity the way that I think I can see if I really implement his advice. Uh, so I'm really excited. I have eight tips to share with you um, to set up a healthy morning routine and to really um, have that help you energize yourself enough so that you are actively pursuing your goals and your um, vision for the future with your business or with your health journey, whatever the case may be. This will help energize you just in life in general, which will um, make you successful. So the first tip is always eat a nutritious breakfast. I'm a, I am love breakfast. I'm a firm believer in breakfast. So um, for me, breakfast is really important to make sure that I am not hangry because we all know that's a thing. Um, and also just to be able to get on the right mindset. I feel fueled. I can move forward with my day. Um, and eating the right nutrition, I mean, study after study will show that what you eat determines how you're feeling. So if you're not energizing your um, body with the right nutrients, then you're probably not going to see um, energy or productivity the way you could if you were eating well. Uh, the second one is to spend 20 minutes filling your mind with positivity um, and really igniting your endorphins. So for me as a Christian, um, one way that I really pursue this is quiet time. Um, I want God to be the first thing that fills me up in the morning and not the world. So for me, I um, and I haven't been doing a good job of this. Um, I usually have my quiet time later in the day, but I want to start implementing it first thing in the morning um, because I think that's my source, my foundation that I need to be drawing strength from every day. Uh, so I'll spend 20 minutes um, reading my Bible or listening it to listening to it on my audio on my Bible app. I really love that. Um, just so that that's the first thing that comes into my mind for the day. And I know that no matter what I face the rest of the day, I know my foundation is sure and strong to handle what may come. And I can handle it with a positive attitude. The third thing is to spend 10 to 15 minutes journaling. Um, and this can look like a lot of different things, um, but it really helps you train your mind to focus on positivity and cast a vision of why you're doing what you do. So for example, with my business, I interact a lot with prospective and current clients and also coaches that I personally am mentoring to grow their business. If I'm not filling myself up with what I'm thankful for, with what I'm excited about in the day, um, and asking myself these questions every morning to really cast my vision of where I'm going in the future, I can't communicate positivity or excitement about what I'm doing to all of these people um, because I'm not filling myself up with it, if that makes sense. So um, for me, it's really important. If my mindset is negative, then I'm communicating um, either short responses or not as excited as I should be because I have awesome programs um, and I want to make sure that I'm um, 
putting that off on other people. So I have to fill up my cup with positivity. So journaling, writing down what you're excited about for the day is a great um, way to, to get going in your morning routine. Um, and the fourth thing is to get active. So a lot of people like to do their uh, workouts in the morning. Um, I do mine mid-morning, but it's still early enough before I really get going with my day where I feel like I'm getting endorphins from it. Um, I think it's very important in the beginning of your day to do something that you can accomplish so that the rest of the day, your confidence is feeding off of that accomplishment. Uh, so for me, I know that if I get a good workout in, the rest of the day I feel a little bit taller um, because I'm confident, okay, I've done my workout, I faced the challenge already, I sweated X, Y, and Z, I did it, and now I can move forward and handle these other things. Um, the fifth thing would be MVPs, um, and this is uh, Peter Vogel's term MVP, which means most valuable priority. Um, and I had never heard that before. I think it's an awesome concept and I'm going to start implementing it into my day, my mornings, to write down my most valuable priorities and then to organize and schedule my day accordingly. I think that will really help me laser in my focus and not feel so like multitasking with my job because especially working at home and being an entrepreneur, I can be like, whoa, all these things coming at me at once and I'm not handling my main uh, business that's actually going to move my business forward. The sixth thing would be to visualize. Um, so they say that visualization is really key in helping you accomplish your goals. Uh, so one thing I want to start doing is visualizing and create, um, I'm really big on like creativity and vision boards and so um, I've always had them and so I want to create a new one, one for my fitness journey because um, I'm focused on goals and I know that if I'm seeing constantly where I want to be, my choices during the day will most likely um, add up to that if I'm constantly putting it in front of myself, if that makes sense. Um, and then also with my business, I want to create um, a vision with where I want to go with my business so that uh, every day my actions with my business hours are geared towards that vision. Um, the seventh thing would be to write down your goals for the day. Uh, so this kind of goes with your MVPs, uh, but it's also really important to write down your specific goals for today, for six months, 12 months, whatever the case may be, so that you can clearly um, be able to verbalize to someone what your goals are. If you can't do that, then are they really goals? Are you really shooting for them? Because you're kind of unclear with what they are. Uh, so that's really important to write them down. And even just writing them down in front of you for a quick few minutes um, establishes like a purpose for your day. So the eighth thing would be to focus on gratitude. Um, I know that a lot of people that are that foster um, a thankful heart generally have more. Um, and what they have is way more than enough. So it's kind of this... Um, spirit of contentment and I really want to pursue that in my own life because I think that if you're thankful for your job, if you're thankful for the opportunity to get up and work hard and go after your goals, then that's going to come across to um, whether you have a boss or whether you have clients or whoever it may be, it will come across to them and that will be attractive, that will attract people. Um, so for me, that's really important to remain positive. What am I thankful for today? Because there is, there's always something, right? There's always something. Um, so those are my eight tips for, uh, really establishing a healthy and successful morning routine. Um, things that you can be act proactively doing to work towards your goals and be more clear and laser focused as a leader, um, on how to move forward with your day. Um, so I'd be curious to know what things that you currently do, what are things that you want to implement. Um, I'd love to hear back from you. I really hope that you found these tips helpful as much as I did when I learned about them. Um, and if you did, I would love for you to subscribe uh, to this YouTube channel, uh, Sewn With Strength. Um, and if you're not, you can follow me on Instagram at Sewn With Strength. Um, and then, of course, if you're interested in partnering with me or um, guest blogging on my website or joining a fitness challenge that I have going on or my team of fitness coaches, you can find all that information at www.sewnwithstrength.com. Um, and then my email is super easy, sewnwithstrength at gmail.com if you're interested in getting in touch with me as well. 
Um, so I'm really excited that you guys took the time to listen to all that. I hope it was helpful and kind of short. I know it's like 10 minute mark, but um, make it a great day or not. Choice is always ours. So I hope you have a great Tuesday and I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday for our second week of Tuesday Tips. Bye.